Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate wind in Anime Studio Pro. Alright, so as you can see I've drawn um, a street right here with some mountains behind it. And we are going to create uh, the wind effect uh, right here. So for that, of course, first we need some trees. Uh, because we want to move the trees uh, blown away by the wind. So for that we create a bone layer and we call it tree and we create a vector layer which we also call tree and we put it right here. So um, first we take the add point tool and we pick a color and we pick the color uh, brown uh, right here and also the stroke color will be brown like this. There we go and yeah so we are going to draw a tree right here and we take the add point tool and we just make the points visible and we're just going to draw a tree right here now make sure that you in this line you know this what eventually will become a tree you only use one point right here not more uh, that is important for when we want to move the, the the tree. So just like that, one point next to it and then a point right here. And then here and then here and there we go. So of course we have to adjust the points. Um, if, we, oh, if we select these and we take the curvature tool and we just hold. I hold my mouse and I move to the left then the points become uh, less sharp and same thing will be for these points but um, we take this tool and we use lasso modes so that you can um, use select the points like this and then we take the curvature tool and then just hold hold your mouse again and then move to the left so it becomes sharp and then we just need to adjust it a bit like this. There we go. Put it like this. And there we go. Finally maybe make these points a little bit uh, sharper. Not too much. There we go. So maybe adjust this one a bit. Move this one a bit closer. And yeah. That would be good. So now, you have, now that I've drawn the tree, I'm also going to draw the bushes above right here. And for that, we take the blob brush tool. And first, we of course, we pick, uh, we choose a color, green. And same for the stroke right here. So we have uh, a green color. So what you do, you hold your mouse again and you see that on the circle uh, it appears green and then if I move I can just draw some green blobs like uh, in basically uh, any form that I want so that way I can draw something that looks like bushes on the tree. So just to make sure that I will fill the gap <coughs> there we go so now let's add a stroke right here so you can see uh, a stroke is added so there we go we just and of course points are added automatically on it so that way you have uh, drawn these bushes very quickly um, there we go so now that's uh, that's that's a good tree so then what we do we go to the bone layer and um, we are going to add bones. So for that we take the add bones tool um, and we have to make sure that uh, the bones that we are going to draw uh, the first bone will be under these points and the second one will be above these points. So first I make sure that these points are next to each other like this and I make sure that I put the set the, the cross right here so yeah like this so I can see where the points are 
a bit. So we take the add point tool, uh, of the add bone tool, I'm sorry, and we just draw a bone right here, right just underneath the points. And then a second bone, make sure this one is selected. If it's red, it's selected. Um, and then just add another bone right here until the bushes. So that way they are connected with each other. So just to make sure that they are under and above the points, that's important. So then if we take the bone string tool, you see these regions, these red, blue regions, and we just have to reduce it because um, the regions um, is basically how far the influence of the bone goes. So we just adjust them like this. And if I would take the manipulate bones tool and I would move it, it's already moving, but you can see there's a problem right here. Uh, it moves the whole bow, the whole tree is moving, and uh, we don't want that, of course. So, if you go to frame one, it comes back to normal, then back to frame zero. Uh, we are going to adjust a few things. So, what we do, we go to the tree layer, the vector layer, and f we start with the bone above. So, first we uh, select the bone above, and then we take this tool called bind points and what we do we uh, you know maybe just deselect lasso mode what you can do if you hold your mouse and then move right like this then you select all these points right here not these ones and then what you click what you do you click on bind points so what happens is that all these points right here that are selected are uh, binded to this bone. And then we have to do the same thing for this bone. So we oh, make sure I take this tool and you just select these, select this bone. And we're doing the same thing, but only for these points right here underneath. This, these points won't be binded. And we do basically do the same, we click bind points. So what happens if we go to the tree bone layer and let's say we go to frame six and we take this tool, not to manipulate bones tool, but this one right here and you move. The tree is moving without this moving at all. And that way you can create the wind effect so you can make it like it's blown. So that is how you make the tree. So um, of course I want to have more than just one tree. So, uh, so what we do, we just, uh, while you're on the tree layer, you duplicate this one, you click enter, and then I just move it like this. There we go. So uh, what we do, um, we uh, now are going to move the, it like it's blowing by the wind. So let's say we go to frame six and we just move it a bit like this. Not, not too much. There we go. And then we go right here and then we just select these bones on frame 12. And then we go to edit, copy, edit and paste. And then you can see it goes to the right and then back and what you can do is uh, select the keyframes at the end and then if you click with your right mouse on it you click on cycle and then this appears and you just have to click this away and what happens is uh, if you would play it's moving automatically so you don't have to add all these keyframes uh, for it, so I'm just going to adjust it a little bit. I think it's going a little bit too fast. There we go, and so like this, maybe adjust it a little bit more. So you can play around with this yourself. So oh, not not that, no. 
just a little less, I would say. Yeah, there we go. So, um, well, basically, uh, that's how you can uh, give the effect that it's blown. So we can do the same thing for this one, but let's let's just uh, do it the easy way. I just remove this one and I just duplicate this one again, and then just move it right here. So I don't have to do it uh, again because if you duplicate this tree with the animation on it the animation uh, will be on it as well so basically you have this they are moving all both at the same time so that is um, how you create the trees so um, what we can do right now is creating leaves and uh, we want to give the effect that these leaves are passing by that way you can really create the wind effect so what we do um, for that is we create uh, a new layer and I call it a leaf and just make sure that it's a small leaf of course so we take a little bit like this and then we just pick a color again um, I think the color for yeah this color is good for it so I'm going to create a leaf by just making uh, using the draw shape tool make sure auto stroke and auto fill are selected choose oval and we just draw a oval right here and um, what we can do of course is take the curve tool again and make sure one point is selected and just adjust it make it a little bit sharper not too much and then put it like this so it becomes a leaf and then finally add some points to it like this so then you uh, if you have added this with the add point tool you use the paint bucket tool uh, select stroke and just select so you select the stroke so you can so it gets a color so there we go just adjust it the way you want it and then we have a little leaf and I'm just going to make it even a little bit smaller because we really need just a small leaf like this this yeah this is good so um, then what we do we um, make sure yeah make sure uh, make sure the the cross of the, uh, that you see when you have the transform layer tool is in the middle of it and then what we do we go to frame 12 and we use the transform layer tool and we just move it like this there we go and so on the timeline it rotates and then um, you go to frame 18 and then you move it like this and then you move it back again you have to do it like this because yeah that way it will rotate if you forget to put this it to put this keyframe on frame 18 it will mess up so make sure uh, you do it like this so that it fully rotates and then of course um, we select the keyframe and we click with the right mouse and then we click on cycle again so basically it's rotating the whole time then uh, what we are going to do this is where the real magic is going to happen we are going to create uh, a particle layer and we click and we call it leaves and we just put the leaf inside of this right here and you can already see that something is happening all of a sudden these leaves are appearing uh, at multiple times so of course this is not how we want it uh, we have to adjust some things and what we do um, let's just put 
uh, the particle layer right here like this and basically we just play so that we can see what happens and if you get, would go click on this button and then you go to particle options you can change a lot about the way these leaves are moving so first we move the direction like this same goes for it so now we already have some effect where leaves are basically blowing like you would have when the wind is blowing in the air so um, of course we can adjust a lot of other things as well right here so first we change the particle count and this is basically how many particles uh, which are the leaves actually appear just um, at any moment so uh, I will change this to 20 um, and leave preview particles like this a uh, lifetime frames I will uh, change to let's say 300 uh, yeah basically what happens is they yeah you can see it right here they appear uh, less uh, there's more distance between them and maybe change it um, not too much let's say 215 yeah kind of like this so there's more distance between them uh, when they appear um, yeah source width is basically the, the the width of the source where it's coming from and same thing goes for the height and depth if you change the depth um, what will happen is some leaves will appear more in front of the camera um, so that's something that works as well velocity has more to do with the spread and the way it moves um, <coughs> And then you have these ones right here, which you can use. You can use evenly spaced so that's so that it's also more spread. Um, anyway, um, you can exp you can just play around with this and see uh, how it works. What what you think is better? But I think that uh, for for me this is good. So I just leave it like this. So now you can see we have already have some some leaves. And this is, works really well for creating the wind effect. Finally, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to duplicate this and I put it uh, oh, behind the tree and behind the trees. And if you take the transform layer tool, and I just have to stop it, and you put it a little bit right here and make it a little bit smaller so that because it's more in the distance. make sure they're not going make sure they're not in the opposite direction yeah it's it's hard sometimes to deal w with these particles sometimes so no now I'm just going to delete them and I just do it again leaves too you have this sometimes it's a bit messy sometimes with these uh, particles so I'm just going to make sure they are right here just small it a little bit not too much there we go oh make sure I'm on frame zero I just want to put them a little bit so that they are really behind the trees and yeah I think this is good so finally we can create uh, we have to add um, some sounds to it to complete it so what we do we go to file going to import and then audio file and we have the wind sound effect already right here you can pick this from internet or whatever so we click on it and then we change uh, we go to sequencer because the sound as you can see is, uh, starts only right here and I wanted to start at frame 0 or frame 1 there we go and then if you would play you now have really something that a, a f an effect where you have with wind blowing so yeah um, anyway uh, I hope you learn a lot about this that's how I do it so yeah, just play around with it, play around with these particles and see what uh, works best for you. And yeah, just to play around and 
uh, well that's about it uh, I hope you guys learned a lot about this um, if you have any more questions leave a comment and yeah thanks for watching guys if you like this video please subscribe for more I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday I also make my own animations I will upload them whenever they are ready so you can watch those as well thanks for watching guys